Well, this video is just an update of what happened in our garden through the whole season now that it's the 17th of September. It's a Monday, the last day of our vacation. Uh, this is a calla lilies. And I'm going to sit down here on a little seat and zoom in. Here are the seed pods. There's three of them here on the variegated one. There's a ton of seeds in there, folks. And, uh,. I tied them up so they wouldn't hit the ground. That's the other one. And the non-variegated one is four seed pods. That's one. That's two. That's three. Oh, it's five. You see there's the seeds down in there and the seed pod there. I generally let them dry on here. I don't let them freeze. Uh, I will come all the way down there if it was a surprise freeze going to happen just to keep them from freezing. And uh, that's a ton of seeds. But it takes a long time. I mean, at 70 years old, I don't know if I want to grow too many of these from seed. It would be for future people because uh, it might take five years or so to flower. And I'm probably going to divide these. It's the easiest thing to do is divide them. And these were some that came up probably from seeds before and I might uh, maybe move them and split them next year when they come up these generally uh, this one actually has another seed pod it's six on it uh, you need to uh, divide these is the easiest way because each one of these plants you can divide them there's a little bubble down in the ground and when you separate them it would be a greater expanse of this flower foliage and it more flowers and bigger plants and you could fill this whole corner in and they like this little location thanks for watching